Okay, so volume, open interest, and liquidity. Those terms are fairly synonymous with understanding the bid-ask spread. And primarily the reason those are important is that will tell you how, how liquid or how thin a market is trading. Now, we'll just stay with NDX here because that is a, a much larger index that is a lot more thinly traded and it has much wider bid-ask spreads. So it's very easy to use that as the example. But what I want to do is go a little bit farther out in time. Let's say we're going to go to June. We've got 111 days before these options expire. If I want to look at this, all right, you'll see that there is a very wide bid-ask spread. It doesn't even list any volume and there's only 216 contracts of open interest. If I come in a little bit closer to May, same thing. Super wide bid ask spread, four contracts of volume were traded, the open interest is 40, all right? And that tells you many things. It tells you one, this is not traded that often. Open interest, simply put, is the amount of open contracts that are um, are active in the market at this point in time and this number changes every day so let's say that um, four contracts come in and trade on this day well tomorrow the open interest will either change up or down by four points or it might change up or down by two points if two people bought and two people sold, this open interest will tell you, it's a good indicator to tell you how many open contracts are in the marketplace on a particular option strike and expiration cycle. So if you see this particular option uh, that only had four contracts traded on the last trading day, has a very wide bid ask spread, there's only 40 contracts of open interest. <clears throat> By definition, this is not very liquid. This would be extra challenging to get in and out of if you have to buy and sell options. Compared to SPY, let's go out here to May. We'll just do keep things consistent. We'll go right at the money. We'll go as close to the money as we can, 237. Now look at this bid ask spread six pennies wide all right so that's much much narrower than six dollars wide look at the volume and look at the open interest okay so this tells you there are almost 12,000 open contracts on this strike in this expiration cycle on this underlying asset furthermore 1300 contracts of volume were traded on the last trading day and the closer you get to expiration the larger that volume becomes so we'll say 237 here strike price options expire in 14 days all right look at the volume here 2000 contracts are traded if we come here 13,000 contracts were traded on options that expire in seven days with almost 11,000 contracts of open interest. Two penny wide bid ask spread. So I hope you can see the contrast, the significance of trading in much narrower spread markets that has a lot more volume, a lot more open interest, and is much more liquid. Now that being said, that doesn't mean that you can't go out and trade in the NDX or you know the SPX or the Russell or other markets that are a little less liquid it just means you really need to understand the extra challenges that you will face if you have wider bid ask spreads less volume not that much open interest and it's a ill liquid market that's very difficult to get in and out of All right so key features that you know um, experienced and seasoned traders talk about but unfortunately when I was first starting out and learning about this 
I really kind of discounted and did not take into consideration how important that was. Case in point, some of the greatest trades that I used to always, they're not great at all, but the most common trades that I used to trade were in the OEX. And that's what I exclusively traded in when I first started trading. And it was, I had no business trading in that. I mean, you know, wide bid ask spread. And this one, there wasn't even any contracts, no open interest. And these are options that expire in a couple of months. What if we come closer in? All right. Same thing. There's only 179 contracts of open interest, super wide bid ask spread. So it's very important. And it's a very, very relevant topic that uh, new traders especially, especially need to be aware of. All right. Thanks, guys.